All right. This is on philosophy, part 33. Time progression and exceptions. Time progressions and exceptions. But this is going to be a topic that is not really going to be related to each other, but I want you to think about the connection. And you might tell, like, um, from now on, I might do some gaming video while doing the, the, the philosophy talk. So technically, I'm multitasking because I'm trying to train my thought. <laughs> yeah. So this is real time, playing a game and talking about a re really complex system philosophy concept all at the same time. And this is extremely experimental, but guess what? No matter how worse or how bad this goes, um, I'm not gonna make any editing. So that, um, so yeah. Because, um, because why not, right? I wanna push myself further, right? So yeah, time. What, what, what do you think of time, right? What's your sense of time? What's your definition of time? How time is calculated? Right, you might you might say like my iPhone helped me capture the time, right? But how does your computer capture the time? How how does that how computer work? Well, computer works by capturing time in a series of information. It's like a number, a huge, huge number, a huge and long number. However, when you parse that number, it becomes year and months and day and stuff from yeah stuff like that. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna talk about computer science information, but that's how time is calculated in a computer. It's information, right? Even computer can't really calculate time because time is just information, and then information can be modified, but that information is meaningful because it progresses. Every second, every second, that number gets incremented you know, it, it can be incremented in millisecond, nanosecond, or just seconds. It really depends on the accuracy of your computer. What about for human? Human does pretty much something similar, except we use memory to calculate time. So the main topic of the day is gonna be time and memory are interconnected. Think about it. Time and memory are interconnected. A lot of people does not think about that. You know, you might say, what? How does that make sense? How time and memory got anything to do with each other? But honestly, you're, for example, if you're 20 years old, what's your memory that you're 20 years old? Probably because, I don't know, like, you, you tell me. How do you tell? Without the, the use of clock, calendar, how would you tell? memories and honestly um oh yeah you, you might say like why like i can just use my computer to tell me like what time i like what's the concept of time however the problem is that it got to do with another philosophy that crosses with your concept of time and that concept got something to do that that, that, that was i forgot oh my god okay i forgot what philosophy that is but that philosophy is one second shit that philosophy is the same philosophy as how you can use external mind how gogo can technically become oh shit can technically become part of your brain you know why because you can have fast access to of information on, on the internet so much that information on the internet can technically become yours because you have such fast access to it. For example, if you don't know something, you can technically Google it and right away you can know the answer because, oh shit, okay, 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 fuck. So yeah, so technically, information on the internet can be yours in a matter of minute so doesn't it your the information on the internet become part of you 
that philosophy is a philosophy of external mind. Think about it. I'm not going to talk about philosophy of external mind because this topic is going to be about time progression and exceptions. So yeah, memory. Time and memory are interconnected. So time ego memory and memory ego time. And if you say use of computer to calculate time, yes, then that, that's when you talk about different philosophy. And that philosophy is external mind. And also, memory, how the perception of time is really interconnected with short-term memory and sh long-term memory as well. This topic, I'm not going to talk about it at all. This is a topic that you're going to look into, okay? So, think about, like, watch some video about short-term memory and long-term memory as it make that connection with it. It's time. Okay, the next topic I'm gonna talk about is exceptions. Memory and exceptions. A lot of people ask me like, let me, I'm just gonna give you an example. Would you rather live 100 years without too much memory, without a lot of significant memories? All you do is just eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, but you live a long time, you live 100 years versus you only live 50 years. However, every day you experience something special. You need it. You meet special people, ex uh, exceptional events, and you know you, every day you, you you guys are new, unique memories. However, you only gets to live fifty years. Which kind of lifestyle would you prefer? Honestly, if you get to choose and experience both. If you get to live 150 years and you get to choose it, which side you, 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 you want to choose after you already know the result, you will go for the 50 year because that 50 years would feel like forever because the memory you gather from those 50 years are special let's just say that you know i'm not gonna talk about like um i'm just gonna let you feel for example have you ever had a friend or maybe yourself is, would be considered as one like when you do special things to other people or all the people that special things to you you tend to have longer memory on of that of what happened it seems as when you go through skydiving i'm, I'm pretty sure not all of you guys i'm pretty sure none of you guys <laughs> actually skydive before or i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty relatively sure like only one person actually less than one person of you guys actually experienced um skydiving before but you know skydiving is only 10 minutes however you remember it as it happened <laughs> i know uh Actually, like, for, for, for me, like, I'm 20 years old, right? My memory of skydiving is actually one of the 20 things that I remember in my life. So technically, 10 minutes become one year of your lifetime because the memory of that, right? So the memory, the more special of memory you have, it's a greater sense of time you get. Yeah. That's, that's how I tend to interpret it anyway. Although it might not be the case, but in the sense, it is the case. It's the same idea as like a lot of people who are 20 years old who don't achieve as much as me. Or, or you know, a lot of people say like, oh, you're 20 years old, really? You've done so many things. Like, really, you made a game? Really, you, you created your own philosophy? Really, you have a, or your, your, your own game development team? Oh, wow, you have your own research team. Wow, you're, you're, wow, you're, you're in college. Wow, you're, you know, two languages. Oh, wow, like, wow, you, you, like, wow, like, you have done so many things. But of course, there are some people who, are, uh, who, who does more things than me. Uh, I, I know some people who are like 20 years old who learn so many languages. Who, however, that's, However, I still win because this all they know is languages. And I do more things than just languages, of course. 
But yeah, like, how do you do that? Well, the simple fact is you think more. There are time, therefore time slows down. Therefore, when time slows down, you can do more t- things with time. It's as simple as that. The more you think, the slower time becomes. As simple as this, this principle was never change. Although you never learn in class, but this is what it is. The more you think, the time slows down, and the more things you can do, and you become smarter. So the more you think, the you become smarter. That's why philosophers are generally smarter than, oh, not all philosophers. For me, I'm a hobbyist philosopher who doesn't make career out of it, who think based on the hobby of doing so. That's why I, I love thinking. It's because that's why I think every day. It's not because I'm pressured to do that. Is because I love doing that, and therefore, when you love doing that, you keep on doing that, and you become really good at it. That's why some hobbyists actually become better than some of the professionals. And you can actually learn that a lot when you are in college. How a lot of people, even though they're like computer science majors, they don't know crap about computer. They don't have resume about computer when they graduate. They don't know crap about computer because they don't take interest in computers. They don't spend a lot of time in computer. They don't think about computer. And you know, in the in the end, you just don't know much about um, about computer because like the time you spend on it is low. Why you spend less time because you don't think about it. So think about that, you know. Also. I mean, I'll say, oh, you know what? Everyone should think too much and overwhelm yourself. Just think whenever you can, I guess. And the other um, thing I do is say is that uh, the more you think, the more you think. The less you think, the less you think over time. So basically, when you don't think as much, over time, your brain degrades. It really de- degrades itself. What title did I get? What was this? Oh, wow. This is uh, my first video um, combining and I died 500 times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't typically die, but yeah. Tell me in the comment or whatever if people even, even read this. If you like. If you like it more when I play games, when I talk about philosophy, although it's more, it's tougher for me because I have to keep track of both. It's actually hard because it's it's actually hard. Try it, try yourself, try it your, 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 yourself, and see if how well it works. But in the end, I want you to live. Uh, after watching this video, it's just two point, you know. Time and memory are interconnected. Think about that. And also, try to do more special things that make your time lasting. And also, think more. I'm not talking about think more by forcing yourself to think more, giving yourself too much, you know, too much pressure or anything. But, you know, when you think more, time slows down. And over time, you become addicted to it. You, you know, no, you become... What is it? What's the term? What's the term? What? You become familiar with it so much that you become part of you. It's the same as fake it until you make it. So yeah, thank you for watching. This concludes this topic.